guys and welcome back to Electrofax YouTube channel with myself James Betsy aka the Baby Betsy. So a couple of videos ago we did the Steve Fake Coat U flavours and I get to bring you now another little surprise from Steep Vape Co. So are you ready for this guys? I'm hoping Chris is gonna be ready for this one. And it's S1 quick kit guys, it's the Vapeco's very own e-cig. So, wait for Chris to also focus back in, there we go. Just before we, we carry on, we're not like other reviewers, we are doing it genuinely raw, we're using a camera, we're not going all out and doing all of this special video editing stuff, we're not going to go and blow smoke up a product's backside, I'm not going to sit here and pretend something's good when it isn't. You get us the exact same way we are in the shop. Some people like it, some people don't. It isn't everyone's cup of tea. But one thing you're guaranteed to get is pure raw honesty. So I'm gonna shoot one over, I'm gonna get this thing open, we'll do a little unboxing, and then we'll come back and I'll vape it a little bit. We'll uh, we'll go from there, guys. So I should see you in a second. Hello guys, so like I said, we're back across and we're gonna have a look at the S1 quick kit. So we'll just have a look at the new packaging for this. It does give you a quick, a quick read on the back there. It tells you exactly what you get in your kit, which is the kit. Comes fitted with a coil and you get an extra 1.5 ohm OCC coil, which we'll talk a little bit about in a second. You get a USB lead, an accessory kit, warranty card and a user manual. They also put on there as well their measurements. So it is 16 millimeters in diameter and 122 millimeters tall. Standard two mil tank as per the TP requirements and a fantastic little 800 milliamp hour battery so let's dig in oh it's stuck inside this time come out there it is so you have your warranty terms which is hidden nicely underneath thank you very much for hiding that one and you have your instruction manual and user manual all in one with all your Details. It just goes through your battery level lights and tells you what each colour means. I like the purple light myself. Just saying. So, this is what you get in your kit. So, you can see here, you have your USB charging lead, you have your spare glass and O ring set, and you also have a tiny, 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 tiny 1.50 OCC coil and the kit itself. So, I'm just going to take this coil out a sec and I'm going to compare it to the drip tip on this actually because a lot of coils are pretty decent and are really tall but let's just see if you can see that on there how big that actually is in my opinion it's probably the smallest coil that I've seen for a kit uh, that beats the tea leaf coils so, as you can see, my tank has got liquid in it at the moment. So, there we go, you take the tank off. Don't forget guys, this is USB charged, so don't be worrying about this little section here. This acts... How can I say this? That's like a nice, big air well, so you get a nice vapour production. Bear in mind this is a mouse one kit, so vapour production isn't of its highest priority, but this thing does kick. So, coils are nice and simple, they literally just slide out and slide back in with the nice little adjustable air ring at the bottom there. I'm not going to tip the tank up, side down and that's like that, because as you can see I do have liquid in it because I have been testing this particular kit. And it is a top fill, so you just unscrew your top piece and there you go. You get 2mm of space there, a nice little chimney stack in the centre there. So, let's put it all back on, let's pop back over and I'll see you shortly. And we're back guys. So, this is designed to get you off those nasty, dirty, horrible cigarettes. And vaping is the future, sorry to coin somebody else's expression there, but it is the future. It is getting people off the cigarettes, which is the main aim of the game, which is why Steve's 
inside this little beauty to get you off. So as we were discussing about those coils a minute ago, they are a 1.5 OCC, which is an organic cotton coil. And as we can see, they are tiny, tiny, tiny. So you're thinking, start a kit, 1.5 ohms, mouth to lung vape. It isn't gonna produce a mass amount of vapor. To me, that's a big cloud, especially for a pen style kit, and especially with a 1.5 ohm coil in it. Um, the adjustable airflow as well, it does. Just restricts it a little bit. It's not noisy, it's not harsh. And I'm actually vaping on one of our own liquids as well, vaping on a, a UFA lemon sherbet, I believe, and a zero milligram because I technically don't vape with nicotine because I'm past all of that now. I just do it for the flavour. I'm rocking all sorts of bloody stuff at the minute. But this thing, I've tried it with a couple of different liquids in. I have tried it with some harsher liquids and it does handle itself pretty well for a small little kit. Not recommended, obviously. The higher you go with your VG, the more premium the liquids you go, the more coils you're going to go through. So I'd probably stay with a base range liquid. UFA works perfectly. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking to quit the fact and you're sick of all this mumbo jumbo of Inakin doing this, Smoker doing that, Aspire doing this, I draw Ely, rah, 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 everyone has got a start again. Everyone will tell you theirs is the best. A lot of them I've tried. A lot of them I don't like. That's personal preference. Reviews are meant to be subjective. They're not meant to be here to sit there and go, oh yeah, this product's amazing. I can't sit there and do that. My boss asked me to just be pure honest. So at some point I will be doing a YouTube uncut. So I will be doing a pure honest review of a liquid. That's all the F's and the blinds, that's everything included, there's no filtering, there's no nothing, it will just be raw, 100% honesty. I do refrain from using foul language, just because I don't think it portrays us in the best light on a lot of what we do, but a lot of people feel that honesty needs to come through a little bit more, so I will at some point be completely honest about a kit um, and use the language that I should be using for YouTube, but I will disclaimer that at the start of the video that it will be intended for over 18s only just because of language purposes. As well as a little disclaimer, we pop out the front there telling you if you are not over 18 then vaping is not cool, you should not do it. Don't do it guys. When you're old enough, you can do as you please, but there is an age range on it. And you do have to be 18 in the UK to vape, so please, please, please stop sending us messages asking us for advice because I'm sorry we will not respond until you are 18 years old. So with that said guys, I'm going to go now, I'm going to run downstairs, I'm going to help out in the shop for a bit and then I've got another video to do at some point in the next few days which I'll just give you a little clue uh, as to what's coming up on the next one. Obviously I won't be wearing this hat but I shall see you later guys and you know the score. Vape on. Make strong, and as always, keep it cloudy.